Hello everyone. I just want to go over my new hydroponics uh, revised system because I've did quite a few changes to it. Uh, my container here, I had a problem where I had to fill the container over and over. Every day I had to add uh, a lot of water to the container. The container was so so small that, that it, I, I had to have a, put a bigger container. So I bought this huge 160 liter container. I'll show you inside my nutrient the solution. Uh, so I got my timers over here, my air, my air bubbler is going. And you'll see in a second the uh, I have a sump pump outside with it in another container. The reason I have that is because this is so high that I, my plants I'd have to put my plants really high in the air and I'm I'm wasting a lot of space on the bottom here. You'll see that's a sump pump starting and putting water back into my main my main reservoir. You'll see the sump pump in a second when I go outside. But the reason, like I said, and the reason I have it inside too is to keep the uh, keep the water a little bit cooler than having it, having it out in the sun warming up to keep the water cool. So my sump pump is a 12 volt sump pump. So I had to have, had to buy a battery. I bought a nice battery at Costco. There it is. I have my, uh, my charger on it uh, set to trickle charge. And it's charging slowly, but it's keeping the charge very well. It's keeping 100% charged. And that is what runs my sump pump outside. And let's go we'll take, uh, take a quick look. So my sump pump pumps out of these holes here. These are the main feeds. The three-quarter inch tube going to the for the drain, and the two half inch are for are from the two pumps inside the main reservoir. So we'll, first of all, we'll cover the drainage. This is my new drain system. It's just, it's my old reservoir actually that I'm using for a temporary. And there you can see the sump pump going. I just put a brick on top of a container because a few days I found the sump pump was just floating on top of the water. It wouldn't stay down on, on the ground, on, a, on the low, uh, on the bottom. So I put a container upside down and I put a brick on top of it just to keep the sump pump uh, where it should be on the bottom so this works really well it turns on every uh, whenever it fills up maybe every uh, five minutes not even five minutes two minutes so I got all my systems are draining into that temporary container and then the sump pump pumps it into the main container so these are my systems I, I discovered that having sprayers inside for large plants don't work very well. They just clog up with algae, they clog up with with roots. So I changed it where I just pushed a hole in the in the thing just to fill the the containers. Okay, look at the sprayers are not working at all hardly. They're really made for when you're uh, starting out plants rather than uh, at the end. So these are the tomatoes uh, and my uh, lettuce tomatoes I got some uh, base uh, thyme down here and some more lettuce so you see I just pushed a hole it's just spray it's just filling up and then as the water goes up high it, it drains into here I got some more plants in my gutter system and then it drains into my temporary container now this is the system I'm gonna be uh, that I recommend is this one here it's a deep water culture and I just have this little tube going in that's spraying. Oh, where is it now? So as you see, it sprays. It's spraying inside the container, filling it up. So my, if I put new nutrients inside, it'll just uh, it'll just refresh my container rather than to have uh, the same water in there all the time. So here is the. The lead going into the top container and I just put a little uh, quarter inch uh, tube to feed this guy. And look at the lettuce how it's I can't I can't keep up uh, I can't eat it fast enough it's growing so fast. And then this container here drains into this container. Same thing, same idea, and then the overflow comes in and drains into my temporary uh, storage uh, unit or st storage container on the bottom. 
so that's one system I got my Dutch buckets here which I oh the, this system here by the way is what I prefer this is what I'm gonna aim for next year for lettuce because I find it works the best for lettuce anyways uh, for tomatoes I recommend the Dutch buckets and I'm gonna have more of them I built another shelf down there to, to add more next year but these were really good I got them uh, I got some hydrogen in there on my pump stop so it's finished its cycle and I'm tapping off uh, you can't see it but it's in the back a hole I'm tapping off a hose a quarter inch each one has a quarter inch tube uh, feeding this Dutch bucket and as it fills it fills it has hydrogen from there to there I have a container to stop the hydrogen from going in the drain so as this fills up then it starts to drain out and to the main temporary uh, container so you see how low I can put my plants now with that container I'll be able to put my plants this low if I'd have just the container inside I wouldn't be able to do that and this is my I, I'm not using it I just set it up I don't know if I'll set it up this year or not but it's just a vertical spout and I'm really afraid to use it because if something happens that the pump lets go the plants are not gonna have very long before they die because the, the roots are just hanging in the air so I'm kind of wary I'm not decided yet if I'm gonna use it or not but I have set it up so that's where it is so the water trickles from up here trickles down and it sprays 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 all the uh, the roots and then it goes into the drain back to my temporary container and here is a wall unit I bought uh, this uses uh, dirt uh, it plants it's just a uh, oak leaf lettuce planted in dirt and I have a pump in this huge container here that collects rainwater off of my off of my garage half of my garage roof drains into here drains into this huge container and as you can see it's full right now it rained all day yesterday and there's a pump in, inside there that pumps over here that pumps to these tubes here and pumps up to these sprayers and as these sprayers go down it, it fills and then it drains and then it fills this one and then it drains into that one and then if I add some more I won't do it this year but next year if I add some more I'll put another spray line at halfway through to refresh to give it more rain rain water to, to go down so anyways that's the system it seems to be working okay but I think I gotta water it more often because the I've had it there for a couple of weeks now and and it's it's okay but I, I find the hydroponics is much faster much it grows much quicker and that's about it uh, that that water there is just rain water so it just it just drains on the bottom it doesn't recycle the water so that's about it so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time